Gary's Plumbing, how can I help you? Yes, hello, that was this one. Is this David the plumber? I am a plumber, yes. What can I do for you? Okay, well, I've got a pretty bad, I've got a really bad problem. And I'm wondering if, if there's something you guys can take care of without having to charge me an arm and a leg. Well, our prices are competitive, um, but it is, you know, at night. Are you needing emergency service? Yeah, I mean, need an emergency service. It's 30 at night. Why would I be calling if it wasn't? Is that there's some sort of a problem? Okay, what uh, is the problem? Well, I don't know. I, that's why I'm calling you, okay? Um, apparently something has happened in the, my, on the, my washer, okay? And the water tube pipe thing came out, okay, guy? And water's everywhere in my, in my laundry room. I don't know what I did, actually, to be honest with you. So I don't know what did it do. It's leaking from your washing machine. Um, it's a bit of a little, it's more more of like a big pool in my, my laundry room. I got a pretty bad issue, guy. So what did, what did this do with you guys? Do you come out like right now or what am I going to be in store for? I can come out right now. It's $160 just for me to show up, and then I'll make an assessment. Excuse me, what did you say? Hour. Are you kidding me, guy? And who do you even think you're t- – I mean, what is that? That's a Harvard robbery. robbery, if you ask me. I don't think it's respectful at all to be coming in here and not to, to charging me money like that. All I got is a little bit of a leak, and you came to charge me 500 bucks, bro. I'm not going to charge you five hundred dollars. Um, I but I do. That sounds like you're pretty much. Can I talk for a second, guy? You want to? Sure. Do you, do you need to hear? I mean, I think you can come out here do this fix soon. I mean, I'll be willing to pay. But I'm not going to pay one hundred fifty dollars just for you to come out. Just for you to come out. That's that's no, highway you... robbery, guy. Uh, that's a very competitive rate, but are you uh, inebriated or do you have a, a speech impediment? I'm having a hard what time did, understanding. What did you say to me? Sorry, guy. Seems like you wanted to call me into. You called me out on something, guy. No, I'm not. Are you? No, I don't have a speech impediment. That's real rude, though, guy. And I would appreciate it if you respected me. Well, I okay, I'm trying to, to get you to come out and fix my I stuff. Can't drive out anyone's place um, if they're under the influence. I'm re- I'm not under the influence, guy. I'm not under the influence, guy. Don't don't be minding me like that, boy. I'm coming. I'm asking you to do a favor for me. I'm asking you to come out and fix my dryer. It's it's pretty simple. I mean, not my. I don't know. You're talking way too much. Use the crap. Apparently, I'm the one that's all, but I, everything's bad is happening, and I don't know what to do, guy. And then you're accusing me of doing bad stuff. I said, really, where well, you went wrong, guy. I'm just trying to assess the situation, and you just said it with your dryer. Now, the dryer is not a plumbing issue. It, it's no, guy, I told dryer. you I made a mistake. And please don't blame me for stuff I haven't done yet. I'm really just trying to be nice to you, and you're kind of coming at me at a big, really bit of a situation. <laughs> okay, guys, please be nice to me. I'd like me to come out for $160 to examine what's going on with you. You know, it is near, nearly 11 p.m. at night. Um, I don't know where you live. Uh, can you give me your address? Maybe we can, if you're close by, we can cut a deal. What? Um, well, first of all, guys, you don't know what I'm in standing in two feet of water. That's what you need to know first off of the bat. And second offly, you're kind of taking a little bit of a mean tone with me, guy. I don't appreciate your tone. Number two. And number three, I think you need to not be rude to me, guy, because I'm just trying to be helpful for you to come and hire you to help me out with a little bit of a situation. And I don't know my address. I don't know. Didn't it come up in your thing? Uh, I mean, your telephone came up, but that's not your address. I will need your address in order for me to come over to your place. 
I know you're not going to come and do that. I mean, you sound like you're pretty okay, but I don't know you. So I don't know you. And I don't know you. So that's the thing. Yeah, I don't know you either. So that's the the trust that, you know, both of us have to establish. Then I guess we're going to have a bit of a situation on our hands. Because you sound like you don't want my business. And I don't even know why you're even on the phone with me, guy. Because, boy, I think now I'll the system of the Situation Business Bureau, and then we'll really have an issue, and I'll forge a large complaint on you, a complaint, and it will be a, then we'll really see who wins. Ma'am, do you need to, uh, someone, a plumber to come out, or do you need some help? Should I call the police? What, uh, what, how can I best serve you right now? Well, I don't think it's a police situation, but if you want to make it, listen, all I'm saying is I'm standing in two feet of water, okay? And that is, that is a problem. I'm probably going to have something happen. And now you sound like you want to be a mean guy. I don't, I don't know. I don't feel in the house, actually, to be honest with you. I think you need to be the dick. <laughs>